Welcome to my channel. This is my very first video for Bubble Bright Animals. I'm so excited and look forward to bringing you many more interesting animals. So don't forget to subscribe so you will be the first to know when I upload new videos. Now let's get into this mysterious bird. Have you ever heard about the dodo bird? This was a very special bird, unlike any other. Imagine a creature as big as a turkey, with a large curved beak, fluffy feathers, and tiny little wings that weren't for flying. This quirky bird was a real character. The dodo bird lived on an island called Mauritius, which is east of Madagascar. Mauritius is a beautiful island located in the Indian Ocean with lush green forests and clear blue waters. But here's a surprising fact. You won't find the dodo bird there today or anywhere else. This brings us to a big word called extinction. When we say a creature is extinct, it means there are no more of them left in the whole wide world, just like our friend the dodo. So what happened to the dodo bird? Stick around to find out. The story of the dodo bird takes us back in time to a period around the 17th century when the world was a very different place. Picture this, vast stretches of untouched forests, the air filled with the chorus of countless creatures and the earth beneath teeming with life. This was an era of exploration and discovery when intrepid adventurers set sail across the vast oceans, mapping out the world as we know it today. In the midst of all this, on a little island now known as Mauritius, located in the Indian Ocean, a peculiar bird roamed. This was the dodo bird, a creature as unique as the island it called home. The dodo was not like your everyday garden bird. It was a hefty creature standing about a meter tall, and it had an unusually large beak that curved downwards at the end. But what truly set the dodo apart was its inability to fly. Yes, you heard that right. Despite being a bird, the dodo had wings that were too small to carry its large body. Instead, it spent its days waddling on the ground, foraging for fruits and seeds. The dodo was not known for its beauty or grace. In fact, many considered it to be quite an odd-looking bird. But its distinct appearance and peculiar habits are exactly what make the dodo so fascinating. It was a bird that dared to be different, a bird that didn't conform to the usual bird-like ways. And yet, despite its uniqueness, the dodo bird is no longer with us today. It's a sad story but one that carries an important lesson. The dodo bird was unique but that uniqueness couldn't save it. Why? Let's delve deeper. The downfall of the dodo bird started when humans discovered their island. Imagine a peaceful island filled with a variety of unique and strange creatures, none more unique than the dodo bird. For many years the dodo lived happily. Its large size and lack of predators allowed it to thrive. But then, everything changed. In the late 16th century, sailors from far-off lands found their way to the dodo's home, the island of Mauritius. To these sailors, the dodo bird was a source of fresh meat on their long voyages. But it wasn't just the hunting that spelled trouble for the dodo. The sailors also brought with them other animals like rats, pigs, and monkeys that hadn't been on the island before. These new arrivals raided the dodo's nests, eating their eggs and young ones. The dodo, having lived for so long without threats, didn't know how to protect itself or its offspring. It couldn't fly away, it couldn't hide, and it didn't know how to fight back. And with each passing year, there were fewer and fewer dodo birds. Now, let's take a moment to think about what was happening here. The dodo bird, once happy and thriving, was quickly disappearing. This is what we call extinction. It's a big word, but it's not that complicated. When a type of animal completely disappears, never to be seen again, that's extinction. It's like when you finish a book and there are no more pages left to read. That's the end of the story. For the dodo bird, their story ended too soon. By the late 17th century, just about a hundred years after humans first set foot on Mauritius, the last dodo bird was gone. And just like that, the dodo bird was gone forever. But what does that mean exactly? Well, when we say an animal is gone forever, it means that there are no more of them left in the entire world. It's a sad thought, isn't it? But don't worry, there's still a lot we can do to help other animals from suffering the same fate as the dodo bird. But more on that later. When we say a species is extinct, it means that there are no more of that kind of animal or plant left anywhere in the world. It's like when you've eaten the last cookie in the jar, there are no more cookies left. But in this case, it's not about cookies. It's about living creatures. Let's imagine a big, beautiful, and colorful bird we'll call Fluffy. Fluffy was the only one of his kind in the whole wide world. But one day, Fluffy flew away and never came back. Because Fluffy was the only one and he's not here anymore, we can say Fluffy's kind is now extinct. Think about dinosaurs. We all love dinosaurs, right? They were huge, they were cool, they ruled the world. But do we see them around now? 
No, we don't. That's because dinosaurs are extinct. They lived a very, very long time ago, but then they all disappeared. And just like our imaginary friend Fluffy, once they were gone, there were no more dinosaurs left. Now let's think about a deck of cards. If you lose all of your cards, that's like extinction. But what if you only have a few cards left? That's a bit like being endangered. It means there are still some left, but not many. And we need to take care of them to make sure they don't disappear like the dinosaurs or our friend Fluffy. Remember, once a species is extinct, we can't bring it back. It's gone forever. It's a bit like losing a puzzle piece. You can still see the whole picture, but it's not complete anymore and it never will be because that piece is missing. But not all species are extinct. Some are just in danger. So what's the difference? Well, we're going to dive into that in our next scene. So stay tuned as we explore the fascinating world of endangered animals and learn how we can help them. Don't go anywhere. When we say a species is endangered, it means that it's at risk of disappearing forever, just like our friend, the dodo bird. But there's a key difference. While the dodo is extinct, meaning it's no longer with us, an endangered species still has a fighting chance. Picture a race. In this race, the finish line isn't something we want to reach. It's extinction, the end of the line for a species. An endangered species is like a runner who's getting closer and closer to that finish line. But unlike a regular race, we can actually help this runner slow down and maybe even turn back. Let's take the example of the giant panda. Once upon a time, these cuddly animals were racing towards the extinction finish line. Their forests were disappearing and so were the bamboo shoots they loved to munch on. They were endangered. But people around the world came together. They protected the forests and helped the pandas to have more baby pandas. And guess what? Now the pandas are no longer endangered. On the other hand, we have the dodo bird. The dodo was a unique bird that lived on the island of Mauritius. But when humans arrived, they brought with them other animals who weren't very nice to the dodos. And sadly, these dodos couldn't run or fly away. So they crossed the extinction finish line and now there are no dodos left anywhere in the world. So you see, endangered means there's still hope. There's still a chance to help and protect these animals. But once a species is extinct like the dodo bird, it's gone forever. And there are many animals today who are endangered, just like the giant pandas once were. The Amur leopard, the vaquita porpoise, and the Sumatran elephant are all running that race towards the extinction finish line. But it's not too late. Just like with the pandas, we can help slow them down. Remember, every animal plays a special role in our world. Just like every puzzle piece fits perfectly to complete a picture, every animal helps to keep nature in balance. But when we lose an animal forever, it's like losing a piece of that puzzle. The picture isn't complete anymore. That's why it's so important to understand the difference between endangered and extinct. Now, you know the difference between extinct and endangered, but can we do something about it? Well, stay tuned because in the next scene, we'll talk about how each and every one of us can play a part in keeping these amazing animals around for many, many more years to come. Yes, we can help preserve endangered species. How? Let's find out. Did you know that we humans play a big role in preserving all kinds of species, including those that are endangered? That's right. We can make a difference and the best part is, it doesn't have to be complicated. Even small actions can have a big impact. One way we can help is by learning and sharing knowledge about different animals and their habitats. The more we know about these amazing creatures, the better we can understand what they need to survive and thrive. So the next time you're curious about a certain animal, don't hesitate to look it up and learn more about it. You can even share what you've learned with your friends and family. Another way we can contribute is by being mindful of our environment. This means taking care of the world around us. We can do this by recycling, reducing our waste, and reusing things instead of throwing them away. All these actions help to keep our environment clean and healthy for all creatures big and small. We can also support organizations that work to protect endangered species. These groups often need volunteers and donations to keep their efforts going. You might not be able to volunteer just yet, but perhaps you can help by participating in a local cleanup or fundraising event. Now you might be thinking, but I'm just one person. How much can I really do? Well, remember the story of the dodo bird? It was one species, but its loss affected the whole ecosystem. Just like the dodo bird, each one of us is also important. Every action we take, no matter how small, can have a ripple effect. Imagine if all the kids around the world started to learn more about animals, care for the environment, and support conservation efforts. That would be a lot of help, right? That's why every small action counts. So, what can you do today? Maybe you can start by learning more about a new animal. Or perhaps you can help clean up your local park. 
Maybe you can even talk to your friends about the importance of preserving endangered species. Every little bit helps. Remember, we're not just doing this for the animals. We're doing this for ourselves too. After all, we share this world with all kinds of creatures. By helping to preserve them, we're also helping to preserve the balance of our ecosystem. In the end, it all comes down to this. We have a role to play in the preservation of endangered species. And it's a role that we can all take on, no matter how young or old we might be. So let's get to it. Let's learn, let's care, let's act. Together we can help ensure that no other animal has to go the way of the dodo bird. Remember, every small action counts. Now that we know about the dodo bird and extinction, are you ready to learn about another unique animal? Hold on to your hats because our next journey will take us to the lush green forests of China, where we'll discover an animal that's as cute as it is mysterious. This creature is a master of hide and seek, loves to munch on bamboo, and is so unique, there's nothing else like it in the world. Can you guess who our next star is? That's right, we're going to be learning all about the giant panda. These black and white fur balls are not just adorable, they're also incredibly important to the environment they live in. But guess what? They're also endangered, just like the dodo bird once was. We'll dive into the world of the giant panda, exploring their habitats, their favorite foods, and their quirky behaviors. Do you know that pandas spend almost all their waking hours eating and looking for food? Or that a newborn panda is so tiny, it's about the size of a stick of butter? We'll also talk about why pandas are endangered and what's being done to help them. Just like with the dodo bird, humans play a big part in the story of the giant panda. But unlike the dodo, there's still time to make a difference for the pandas. And if you think pandas are cool, just wait until you hear about the other animals we'll be meeting in future episodes. From the soaring eagles of North America to the tiny poison dart frogs of Central and South America, we'll travel the globe to meet some of the most fascinating creatures on the planet. So get ready for an adventure that's bigger, better, and more exciting than ever before. Pack your curiosity, your sense of wonder, and your love for animals, and join us as we explore the amazing world of wildlife. Stay tuned for our next adventure where we'll uncover the mysteries of the giant panda. See you next time, young bubble bright watchers.